मेंबर ऑफ एसोसिएशन पुणे इंडिया 1998 एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन सिंस टू 2015 एंड लाइब्रेरी लिटरेरी सर्विस अवार्ड मराठ बोली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया 2019 Uh, ma'am she uh, she is uh, been very uh, good in her academics and it's our uh, pleasure to uh, listen her so i welcome ma'am and uh, over to you ma'am thank you dr pradya for uh, your elaborative uh, description about uh, my biodata and your for your warm welcome uh, professor dr shankar and uh, all the uh, organizing committee members of uh, esteem uh, mgv's art science and uh, commerce college it's uh, certainly my pleasure to be here on this uh, fantastic dais of uh, students and the faculty members uh, because as an information professional we are always interested in uh, uh, having a dialogue with the uh, budding uh, budding age youngsters uh, of various domains uh, such as art science and commerce because th this is the real area uh, for which we need to work as a information provider i am um, uh, further uh, not uh, wasting the time to directly let you uh, take to the presentation Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Is it visible? Let me check. Is it visible to you? Is it uh, visible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So uh, the topic which is already uh, mentioned, it is uh, because nowadays remote access is uh, recommended, and how we can use it effectively to raise uh, the own performance is very very vital. so in this session we are going to discuss as we know the um, uh, digital information is explored a lot and you can access n number of electronic resources uh, uh, from anywhere by even uh, by using your uh, smart mobiles so it just a, a process of a, a single click for you right so i'll uh, take you to the variety of electronic resources which are available freely as well as which are in paid format and how can we access them effectively so that uh, you can focus on increasing your results that's what is expected and um, i really congratulate dr pradnya and the specifically entire trustee of mgv for uh, focusing on this aspect which is really a need of the present scenario because many times users are not available uh, aware what is available where and uh, this is what is the uh, real uh, condition is so how we can access uh, these electronic resources this is the real uh, crux area we need to focus as i told you the electronic resources are are so many it's vast it's like a vast ocean and uh, you need to take a really deep dive in that ocean to um, fish uh, or to uh, retrieve your information from this huge ocean itna bada samandar hai actually dr pradnya mentioned me madam please use both the languages english as well as hindi wherever need so i'll just try to utilize hindi also so uh, let me know uh, if you are facing any query or any question in between also you can interrupt me no issues uh, because uh, i think it's our home ground uh, when we are with the youngsters and students and faculty members uh, like you all uh, so jitna samandar gehra hota hai so usme se information nikalna ye bahut badi difficulty hai so how to how to retrieve information how to get the information from this ocean that's what is the real challenge not for the users also for the information professional like us so what we are doing we are using various search keys and uh, get it uh, for the users 
so how can we use uh, these keys and how these electronic resources are lying where from uh, we search so in this uh, session we are going to discuss bit about libraries academic libraries as the topic is focused on electronic resources in academic libraries how these academic libraries are developed and what exactly is the current scenario abhi libraries mein kaun se electronic resources hai what is the condition in present scenario how you can access those electronic resources and why you need to access kyu karna hai ye sab nahi karenge to kya hoga aur karte hai to kya hoga so let's uh, take a uh, dive in that as far as libraries are concerned let me take you to the olden uh, scenario just the development of libraries how the libraries are developed earlier you know the libraries were like a royal houses of literature where information was stored on the uh, royal house uh, on the tamrapatra burjapatra metal on metal sheets information was stored and really librarians were working as a custodian of information access was limited and every time you need to visit physically if you access information uh, through this uh, metal sheets or um, manuscripts like uh, these things even now we are digitizing those manuscripts from the uh, royal uh, houses and preserve it for the younger generation right so that's why digitization is very very popular then uh, we also witness traditional libraries after the historical libraries libraries change and uh, into a new total uh, total phase which is full of papers it was a place full of papers where the um, books and periodicals were stored so information was stored only on books periodicals and newspaper and really paper print media was dominating on the entire uh, on the entire publishing industry information was accessible through the paper only and indexing and ab abstracting journals available through the print media so paper was dominating that also we have seen where information is accessible only through the physical visits now what is the current scene ये मैं सब आपको क्यों बता रही हूँ मोस्टली स्टूडेंट सोचेंगे कि हमें क्या करना है जो पुराना है बट दीज दीज आर द रूट फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर एंड नाउ वॉट वॉट वी आर रियली फेसिंग इन द करंट सिनारियो इज बिकॉज ऑफ दी अर्लियर रूट्स डेवलपमेंटल रूट सो यू मस्ट बी अवेयर वॉट एग्जैक्टली वॉज देयर करंटली we are witnessing total hybrid libraries the libraries are not store only the paper medias but libraries are also storing electronic resources so that's why these are known as hybrid libraries the even the users are using their laptops users are entering in the libraries with their laptops uh, palm tops tabs and what not for accessing information mobile on mobiles the mobile apps are popular the catalogs are accessible through these mobile apps right even the uh, in libraries are creating their own information commons what are these information commons these information commons are revolving under only one theme what you need we will provide in current era students and faculty members they are having varied needs sometimes they are interested in uh, the um, interactive discussions sometimes they are interested in solo reading uh, they need to take a break so uh, the information commons are revolving around the, uh, to have a cup of coffee get relaxed then uh, again start reading again uh, interacting so it's a holistic process of reading and learning uh, where the information commons are available it's a fantastic area even uh, may, at many universities uh, in foreign countries this information commons are available and utilized even in india at uh, i am trichy such information common is uh, available of six floor building and it's a fantastic area where you can um, you can exercise you can rest you can read you can interact and go through millions of books in pre print format even the electronic format so thus these hybrid libraries are storing what 
these hybrid libraries are storing print books, print journals, write thesis and project reports in print, as well as they are providing the uh, internet access uh, information. Even libraries are creating their own library blogs. Through these blogs, users can give their own feedbacks. Even the book review library blogs are also popular nowadays on which uh, blogs you can write your own uh, remarks after, once you go through that particular book. Libraries are even uh, storing the uh, electronic journals in full text format, electronic thesis. So on a single click, you will be able to access entire electronic journal. Even electronic books are also there. Even libraries are creating their own digital institutional repositories by using the uh, open source softwares, right? So uh, the entire collection is barcoded, even RFIDs are also there, biometric systems are there, uh, library OPACs are popular nowadays. Uh, I, I discuss about the library blogs with you. Uh, digital library and consortium, these are the concepts re, uh, already developed and reshaping uh, the resource sharing is now reshaped uh, in the form of consortiums. Uh, the uh, AICT Indest consortium as well as the, uh, uh, the uh, Inflipnet consortiums are very, very popular. Uh, IIMs uh, are having their own consortium famous uh, by the name IIM consortiums. The consortiums is uh, nothing but the um, pool of resources. Jaha se aap paat che organizations national level ki unitedly they are forming the consortium. Even the National Digital Library is a famous open access resource which we will go through. Uh, these are the fantastic uh, movements uh, from government of India taken to share the resources of information. Now, what exactly is happening on the educational scenario? We have seen what uh, what is uh, the scenario of the libraries. Now, we will quickly uh, go through the uh, current scenario in the education field. Now, we are witnessing variety of changes in various syllabi of the programs. And why this is so? It is because of the introduction of new educational policy of, by government of India. And now it has taken a right momentum by using the focus approach on skill based program. So you need to pick the uh, optional subjects, elective subjects through the elective baskets and uh, from your mandatory baskets as such. Focusing on the holistic education concepts and uh, the now education definitely is uh, going on the reforming concept and very soon you will see um, few more additional changes in the Indian education scenario. Uh, right now we are going towards the holistic approach so that we can compete with the global education in uh, uh, coming years and um, we will uh, become a developed country right in 2035. That's what is the dream of uh, honorable uh, Modi ji for India. So we all are contributing in that. How can we fo work focusedly? And we need the support from students and uh, the entire uh, faculty as well as the researchers community in this. So why these electronic resources nowadays are popular? Why your college has organized this program? Because these electronic resources can access remotely from your desk. You can access from your mobile. You can access. It provides you effective ac accessibility. And if you use uh, full with your awareness, it will give you the maximum results. It can raise your performance with the effective utilization. Now, how these electronic uh, resources you can access, as I told you, through your uh, institutional library, uh, where the digital libraries are created, where the internet access is available through your online databases of your uh, library, and from the uh, free available electronic resources, which are popular under open access movement, right? So these are the various uh, ways through which you can access those electronic resources. As I uh, discuss with you about the national consortium, uh, 
the uh, Indian government has taken a positive lead in this and the library movement is popular through the networks mainly through the Inflipnet and Delnet. It is an information library network and developing library network for the uh, sharing of information. So what is this purpose of networking? Networking ka purpose kya hai ki aapko jo electronic resources milte hai, dekhiye, aap agar uh, internet pe jate ho, suppose I uh, give you a particular term like uh, say uh, marketing management, right? What you will do, aap internet pe jaoge, aap marketing management term uh, type karoge in your window, on Google you will get lakhs of entries on marketing management, right? But here is the issue. Here is the major issue of authenticity. Aapko pata nahi hai ki kaun se resources authentic hai. Kaun se resources aapko right information de rahe hai. Isliye aapko wahi resources use karne chahiye which are provided by your library, which are highlighted by your library on the library web page. Those resources are authentic. The open sources like DOAJ, which is an authentic source of information, जैसे कि many times क्या होता है आप एक resource use करते हो और एक महने बाद आप अगर internet पे जाते हो so आपको realize होता है कि वो resource है ही नहीं वहाँ पे वो website उधर से गायब है it's vanished ऐसा क्यों होता है because of because of the non authenticity of the resource many times ऐसा होता है जैसे bogus information providers और dubious databases are very very uh, uh, very much available on the scene on internet and users definitely they are not aware with such dubious databases librarian is the right person uh, who is supposed to provide you the information about the authenticity kya authenticity hai us resource ki so please use always the authentic resource wherever you are because this is your budding stage Right, the graduation is the budding stage for you. So if you imbibe right habits, it will give you the positive results. Suppose if you go for the further research, further PG research, and then in the another academic platforms or even in industry, authenticity plays very vital role. So please uh, remember these things. So this, uh, I was talking about the Enlist project. Uh, through this Enlist project, you will be able to get more than 6,000 electronic journals and uh, um, even the electronic books. Before that, we will see the uh, open source resources. Uh, as I told you, Inflipnet is providing the paid resource Enlist. Uske siwa, jo thode resources hai, wo free bhi hai. Wo kaun se hai? हम देखते हैं EPG पाठशाला is the free e resource. I'm taking you on that link. Are you able to see this link? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is EPG पाठशाला. Just I'm showing you UGC MOOCs, e अध्ययन and this is a simple open access resource. आप अपने मोबाइल से भी ये रिसोर्स देख सकते हो. जैसे मैंने अभी क्लिक किया है ई अध्ययन अभी सपोज मैं कॉमर्स में इंटरेस्टेड हूं आई एम क्लिकिंग ऑन कॉमर्स सपोज कॉमर्स में मुझे जैसे कि अकाउंटेंसी देखना है राइट right? उसमें मुझे एक कौन सा भी सब एरिया आई विल चूज अकाउंटिंग मेथोडोलॉजी सो यू विल गेट एंटायर नोट्स ऑन अकाउंटिंग मेथोडोलॉजी एंड दीज आर रीड ओनली नोट्स आई एम uh, see, these notes are prepared by whom? They are prepared by the uh, renowned uh, personalities at the national level. So uh, it's it's certainly an authentic resource for you, right? Abhi, hum log dusre source pe jayenge. I'll show you e Shodh Ganga. What is this Ishod Ganga? Again, Ishod Ganga is a full text thesis resource for you. It is available freely.
Yeah. So this is Shodh Ganga. I was talking about, see, there are uh, 5 lakh 61 thesis, full text theses are available. Suppose I am interested in University of Madras and please remember this source, it is nothing that these are the thesis, so in only it is useful for the researchers or say faculty members. These are equally important and useful for the students also. Student can go through the content and go through the required areas if they need to take a deep dive in this. Hello? 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 Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Let me check why it is not available. Yeah, I was showing you the uh, it's taking time. We will see the another uh, another PPT of Shodh Gangotri. This is a repository of PG collection, uh, the research work in progress. So suppose if we will enter in Mahatma Gandhi University, so there are various topics uh, for which research in progress is going on, for which the abstracts uh, or the synopsis of the thesis already has been submitted. So if I click on URL, I'll get this entire content. I'm clicking on the synopsis. This is the entire full text synopsis on a single click. I'm getting of Mahatma Gandhi University. I'm not going here and there. I'm sitting on my desk, right? And I'm getting the entire content. Now we will go through the another source. I'll go through the another source with one database. With one database is nothing but the uh, database of the resource personalities in the uh, particular uh, nation, India. Suppose we will go through a variety of subjects. Suppose I go in social science. So you will be able to get the entire Vidwans available in any of the um, database of the particular domain, right? So uh, this is a score rate and the particular details are given by the Vidwan. So as I, as you go entering the data, you will get the results. You will be able to search the entire list of the personalities with the detailed bio datas. I'll show you the interesting website of National Digital Library. This is a interesting project, most ambitious project of government of India, uh, which is uh, run by uh, IIT Kharagpur for uh, the entire academic fraternity, including uh, students, faculty members, and uh, researchers of the nation. And it is uh, focused on various domains. It consists of the uh, resources mean for various domains in the full text form. In the full text form, it even uh, under NDLI club, it organizes various activities used for uh, or mean for the students. Uh, various students can enroll themselves for this NDLI club. It's a national mission, right? It's a national uh, mission for digitizing the content. And uh, Honorable Ar former Minister Smriti Irani ji uh, initiated this project to access the uh, content um, to provide effective access to the digital content. And the basic purpose of this NDL is to reach the unreached section of the society, particularly in rural areas, where physical kitabe nahi pos sakti, jaha pe log 
किताबों के लिए पैसे नहीं दे सकते वहां अभी भी मोबाइल्स पहुंचे हैं हर जगह यू आर कनेक्टेड तो उन जगहों पे ये किताबें ऑनलाइन फॉर्मेट में एक्सेस हो सकती है इसलिए उन्होंने डिजिटल कलेक्शन क्रिएट किया है और यू कैन एक्सेस एनी ऑफ द रिसोर्स थ्रू सब्जेक्ट राइट थ्रू एजुकेशनल लेवल इवन इट इज अवेलेबल फ्रॉम दी बेसिक इट इज अवेलेबल फॉर फॉर दी स्कूल लेवल बेसिक लेवल ऑल्सो फ्रॉम इट इज अवेलेबल सपोज वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन फिजिक्स वी कैन क्लिक ऑन एनी रिसोर्स it provides you the videos also right so the uh, videos of the experts are also available on this ndl right i'm just clicking on this video it is a video on physics so you can go through this content i'm just showing you the sample if you are interested in transformers if you are interested in getting knowledge on transformers you can go through the content by clicking on the link Yeah. So these are the videos prepared by the experts from the nation. see how how fantastic it is you will be able to get on the knowledge of transformers by sitting in in your library or even uh, by sitting on your own desk there is no need for you to go here and there it's a moment of one click for you again the one another fantastic project is project gatanbar again this project but gatanberg is a free project uh, of 70000 electronic books right there are variety of titles available any of the titles you can uh, select and you can explore to go through these are the full text books these are the full text books you can read online if i am interested in reading online i can go through and i can read online right this is also a fantastic project now we will go through paid database I, we were discussing about the end list right i'll show you the end list i think end list is available with your college also so you can go through uh, the end list from your college library it's again enlist is also a fantastic resource for you which consists more than 60000 electronic journals on various subjects on various subjects so we will go through the content of electronic resource this i am entering through uh, my institutional login uh, you can enter through your institutional uh, your college login for getting the details suppose i am entering through uh, springer electronic books if i am interested right just what are the conditions you have to accept just don't worry suppose i am interested in conference proceeding not in books at your right hand side there are various options from which from where you can update or you can narrow down the results of your search jahan se aap highlight kar sakte ho jo bhi area suppose i am interested in proceeding of the 10th international conference on advanced intelligence systems it's a matter for me 
to uh, get the information on a single click right these are the editors about this book these are the table of contents suppose i am interested in this particular paper i can go through the abstract and references and log into the entire content right so this is how it works same is the case with what it includes it in, it it's really interesting to know what enlist includes enlist includes the uh, indian journals as well as uh, the paper economic and political weekly uh, then uh, it also includes american institute of physics content a very very rich collection of springer sage taylor and francis right and what not so uh, even ipsco is also ipsco library is also available on enlist database is it visible to you hello yes ma'am yes yes okay. visible yes so uh, suppose i am interested yes. in international economics this is a book on international economics suppose i am interested in international economics on a single click on your right hand or uh, left hand side variety of options are available i have just click on the pdf full text pdf so it will give me the entire content on the international economics seventh edition right by ekar so this is a fantastic full text content c the impact of it it's a matter of single click for me to go through suppose i am interested in chapter 15 extension of the basic open economy model it's a single click business for me to go through the entire book so you can go through read even you can download suppose i am interested in downloading the current page i click as a current page i am downloading the current page on my screen see on my right hand side i have downloaded this page right so it is downloading so i have shown you how to go through how to browse how to download the content from enlist so this is about the enlist database then we will go through uh, the remaining web resources such as uh, science direct jgate actually uh, these are the paid resources and of course you need access to uh, you need uh, paid access to these resources if you have subscribed this resource then only you will be able to get access right so i am not able to get the access if if uh, our library or in organization is not um, giving the subscription towards that particular resource so please see that your organization is subscribing that particular resource or not the another important resource is i triple e now we will go through i triple e my internet connection is not allowing me towards that okay yeah so this is i triple e database this is the most uh, costliest database for the engineering even though it is engineering i will recommend it for the subject of physics even electronics students of electronics can better use mathematics students can better use this i triple e database uh, because um, the few subjects are common for these domains and uh, the the content of i triple e not all is paid 
few content is freely available so if it is you have to check if it is freely available you can go through and you can download the content see might be this content is downloadable it is freely so it's asking me whether you have a login or are you an official reader or not so it is like that but for free content you can download that is for sure see this article at least you will get abstract of the article and what exactly is going on uh, in your domain that you will come to know through this database it's a fantastic resource for the electronics mathematics and engineering and computer science people even for uh, for the science domain or for uh, even from the junior for the junior and senior college there is a computer science subject so for that domain you also can utilize i triple e now i will show you uh, the page of uh, university library uh, of SPPU from which you can access so many databases. Yeah, it's taking time. Meanwhile, we will go through the remaining content. So uh, I'll show you the library web page of IMCC, where we have uploaded the entire collection, right? This is our institutional web page. This is the library web page of us and I'll show you the library collection which we have uploaded. This is the uh, OPAC link of our, it's asking me to log in. I'll show you from my desktop where the access information you will get. For students, they are supposed to log in by using their own password, right, and email ID. So my uh, right at my uh, right hand side, you will get the member institutions of uh, Koha under MES, right, and my uh, left hand side, you will get the list of renowned catalogs from the world, like Library of Congress, Columbia University, and uh, so on. Even ETD repositories like Shod Ganga, NDL are also links to that are available. New arrivals we have uh, uploaded. What is new in my library that students will come to know, right? If I am interested in business economics, so it's giving me information. It is available on shelf, right? It gives me information how many copies are available and uh, how many are issued. Same is the case with uh, the corporate accounting. It gives me information as it is a union catalog of all institution. It gives me uh, the book is with the Maharashtra Education Society's Knight College. It is not of IMCC, but since it is an integrated union catalog, it gives me the information of availability of the resource. Then I'll show you. Now I'll show you
yeah this i triple e enlist we have discussed all these resources the swayam is a nice platform only i'll show you swayam i think we all are aware with swayam swayam is a open access platform and from which uh, you will get a uh, area of your domain for uh, through e learning mode jahan se aap anek programs join kar sakte hai see it it's uh, giving you information total there are 13200 courses it has uploaded with more than 39 lakh of enrollments and certification unhone kitne diye hai 31 lakh certification unhone diye hai so uh, this is about the swayam platform from where uh, you will get the um, insight about the self learning mode and uh, day by day education is becoming focused on self learning right self thinking skill based holistic approach so for this mooc and uh, uh, the swayam platform is the fantastic example of uh, mooc promoted by government of india in the benefit of the nation to reach the uh, unaware part of the learners so uh, this is about the resources now we will see what what is about the use right how to raise the performance the first important thing is i would like to highlight the college and universities are spending really crores of rupees on subscribing electronic resources your college is subscribing endless so how you are utilizing it are you at least going through the resource have you log in in endless have you seen how many resources are available in endless how can you use it to raise the performance because uh, many uh, library professionals information professionals studied the utilization ratio and they found that even the use of opac iit delhi personalities iit delhi information professional studied the utilization of opac in the library and they found that only 38% pg students are using opac right same is the case with iit kharagpur 31 users are satisfied with the uh, provided electronic services uh, the uh, remaining examples i have highlighted uh, done for measuring the awareness and use of electronic resources by the faculty members it is found that in uh, institute of management and technology in, in dubai majority of the faculty members are under using the library databases even the lack of awareness is also measured right uh, it is found that 100% are uh, using the uh, electronic resources in uh, uae but effectiveness was not there how to use it effectively they are not aware just logging in the database will not give you the result you need to titrate the information particularly for uh, getting the effective results even same is the case with andhra pradesh uh, only 4% of ugc infonet uh, awareness about ugc infonet facility was uh, measured in massachusetts university the uh, case study was conducted to compare the utilization uh, of the resources in the graduates and faculty members the uh, so at majority of the studies it is found that there the awareness of online resources is quite low and definitely it is a challenge for all of us including information professional how to uh, use it smartly effectively for that purpose awareness to make the awareness uh, level high is only the solution so how to raise the awareness level just to spend more time and even just to titrate what is what what is there to be excluded and what there is to include it 
it's a way it's certainly a daunting task for the researchers faculty members and certainly for the students but this is the area which you need to focus on for getting the better results so plan your search strategy uh, as you are planning your study you need to plan your search strategy to get better awareness try to be in the contact with your institutional librarian institutional library staff and try to fetch the free electronic resources for raising your uh, performance i think uh, this is done for now but for uh, future growth and for bright future of us we need to see horizons beyond the horizons lying behind it for really a better performance and effective performance results thank you so much for being patient and with me i uh, would like to stop here thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you uh, dr minal ma'am thank you for this wonderful session where we got to know about different e resources uses different platforms and uh, you have really cleared many doubts uh, by using different resources or resources like enlist because uh, we usually follow the enlist but we have many doubts by using enlist so it was really wonderful session and uh, tomorrow we will be celebrating bharat ratna dr apj abdul kalam birth anniversary on this occasion we celebrate uh, vachan prerna divas as a new inspiration day and uh, i am sure and to sure, uh, for this webinar students uh, will definitely get to know about the different resources and it will be helpful for students to learn uh, and for the uh, for the uh, staff also for researchers and it was really helpful uh, session for us thank you very much ma'am uh, for uh, any questions kadam no. sir any question no, no, no. questions like right now because it was really wonderful and you can explain uh, everything in a very uh, simple and uh, simple way you have explained everything and uh, we are really thankful uh, to you ma'am for explaining uh, this session uh, now as we come to the end of this enlightening session i now invite uh, dr rubina ma'am to deliver the vote of thanks Dr. Rubina will express our gratitude to all those who made today's event possible. Over to you, Dr. Rubina, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of MGV's Arts, Commerce, and Science College, Malaga City, I, Dr. Rubina, extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you. I express my sincere gratitude to our distinguished guest for sparing her value, precious time and valuable thought on the said topic. Thank you so much, ma'am. Your expertise and passion for the subject have enlightened us. We look forward to your future contributions in the field of education. I would like to thank and congratulate the Department of Library for conducting the webinar. We got. wonderful knowledge from the webinar thank you everyone here for attending the webinar and making this event successful by your presence thank you thank you very much thank you rubina ma'am
thank you minan thank you thank you so much it's your and the participants to be here with you all i enjoyed this session yes yes we do enjoy this session and uh, we will definitely uh, like to hear you more in next uh, session sure sure my pleasure thank you so much bye thank you ma'am bye